the release this morning, um, Joan Mika, of that security footage of the shooter um, inside uh, that school. If we could bring that up now, you see the shooter driving onto campus and then shooting through the side doors of that school. You see it right there. Um, those glass doors, which are now under question. Should glass doors even be a part of the school considering how easily uh, the shooter was able to get in? Crawling through those doors, uh, the shooter then makes their way up to the second floor uh, in which you see them kind of peeking around um, the hallways. We know the shooter attended the school when they were younger. Um, they had detailed maps of the entire school. This was a planned and targeted um, shooting. There was a manifesto left behind as well. And it was on the second floor in which the shooter targeted police vehicles um, as they entered the campus and which the shooter was ultimately neutralized. In just 14 minutes from when that call came in saying there was an active shooter on campus, um, the police were able to neutralize uh, that shooter. We also know the shooter is 28 years old. Um, living as a transgender person. We're learning more and more about the shooter and the possible motives behind it as well. The police telling us they have some theories behind that motive, hoping to learn more about that today.